Lovely. I got a couple <laughs> over the top of my head when you were talking about it. Our temperatures right now are on the rise. We had a couple of cool days, but we're 26 degrees warmer in Denver compared to yesterday at this time. 25 for Boulder and Parker. Out on the eastern plains, at least 20 degrees warmer. Everyone in Colorado warmer than where we were yesterday. So right now it's still 60 degrees out at DIA and in Parker. 59 in Fort Collins. 66 in Burlington. We have 72 degrees still right now in Lamar. 41 in Frisco and Leadville. 56 in Craig and 65 over in Grand Junction. We have 55 degrees from our weather watcher Bob in Estes Park this evening and we have 61 degrees here downtown. So we did get some more clouds this afternoon but it certainly was still a beautiful warm day for us minus some of that wind. 63 degrees out of DIA earlier today. 62 downtown. Yesterday we only hit 47 degrees so we jumped quite a bit today. Our normal is 58. Our wind speeds again it's pretty gusty out on the eastern plains right now. Anything from 16 to 30 mile per hour gust but heading towards the high country off to our west. 30 mile per hour gust in Craig close to that Estes Park and we are gusty all the way down to Pagosa Springs as well. And as you head towards the foothills, Berthet Pass, winds are 50 to over 60 miles an hour right now. So here downtown, not too bad for us. It's a little bit more windy on the east and north side of town. So ugh, not so much fun with that wind today. But we are dry outside. There's been a little bit of rain in parts of Nebraska, so we may see a little bit of our northeastern corner get clipped by that. But what we're looking at is this cold front is going to back into Colorado very quickly tonight through tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. That does shake things up a little bit. Bit. So we are looking at some cooler temperatures and the chance for some rain and snow, mainly north of Denver. But because we're on that edge of that front, it's a very weak front. There's a chance maybe we get a few showers as well. So looking at our future cast for tonight, there are some clouds out there. Maybe just a little bit of mountain snow by tomorrow morning. Could even be uh, close over to Moffat County as well. But we have some clouds out to the east. And then in the afternoon, more when that front passes through, again, there could be a quick band of some very heavy, intense rain uh, snowfall out in the eastern plains. And again, we're just dancing with that uh, cold front line here in Denver. Denver. So can't rule out some showers in the evening hours late afternoon and into maybe Sunday morning, but it should clear in time for Easter. Again, most of that snow is gone by Sunday morning, but it will be a little bit cool and possibly cloudy for those early Easter sunrise services. 35 in Denver tonight and uh, Fort Collins, 34 out in Burlington. So lots of 30s for the Front Range and Eastern Plains. A lot of areas above freezing. We're in the 20s, mostly in the high country tonight and tomorrow. Again, it's a pretty weak front, so it may not even make it past the Palmer Divide. So you notice southeastern Colorado still in the 60s and 70s tomorrow. 55 in Denver. We have 51 in Fort Collins. 48 out in Ray. 46 in Frisco. 53 in Avon if you're doing some spring break skiing. And Easter, of course, is this Sunday. It'll be chilly at sunrise with maybe a few clouds. And then by noon, 53 and sunny. 65 uh, in the afternoon with lots of sunshine. So again, there's that slight chance for some moisture on Saturday afternoon and evening. Most of it's to the north. Then we're at a nice 72 degrees on Monday, but it will be windy. Tuesday, another front comes through, drops us to 50. After that, we are warm and sunny once again. Your whole weather cast, I was thinking about that long.